TMZ right now. Um, Everson, Illinois, Alderman, city, rep city reparation is not what they seem. We have to do better. Um, I was very curious about the story because this is first, one of the first times, um, you know, a U.S. city is offering reparations towards black peoples. So it, it, it's very, very interesting. And, and I want to read a little bit of backstory before we get into, into the actual video here. Everson, Illinois just made history by becoming the first U.S. city to offer reparations to black residents. But one member of his city council doesn't want its plan to be the way of the future because she thinks it misses the mark. Alderman Cicely Fleming was was the lone vote against the city, against the Chicago suburbs proposed reparations program. But not because she's against reparations. She, she doesn't believe that this is program qualifies to be called that if if. If you don't know, the city council voted eight to one to distribute four hundred thousand dollars to four four hundred thousand dollars to sixteen qualifying black households. Each can get up to twenty five k, but it must be used for home repairs or home down payments. Wow! So this is going to be interesting. I'm I'm very intrigued to see what what was her reasoning for voting against it. I I, I do want to see what what um, she has to say about it and and. Let's just give her give her a shot. Let's hear it because again, she might have a have a legitimate reason. And it sounds like I can already kind of see where there might be some problems. So let's go ahead and just check it out real quick. So anybody who had a descendant from 1919 to 1969, they would have there would be eligibility on the part of the descendants. Do the descendants actually have to live in Evanston to get the money? They don't have to live here to apply, but in order to use the money, you have to make a primary residence here in Evanston. So ah. for my, like my sister who lives in Georgia now, she could apply, she would qualify. If she is selected, because we're only taking 16 people, she would have to make Evanston then her primary residence. You can't use it on an income property. Part of the goal or is kind of to counter gentrification or the loss of our black population, um, which is fine as a housing bill, as a housing plan. But, you know, there's many things that go into why black people don't live here anymore. Economics might be one of them. Um, so I don't know how many people are going to move back and relocate because of the $25,000 grant. Right. But my opposition is not has nothing to do with reparations. I want to be really clear. I think we're way delayed and overdue for reparations. It is that I think this is a housing plan, which is great. I'm happy to have a housing plan. Right. But I think in terms of under the guise of reparation, it falls very short. Mm -hmm. compared to what people think reparations should be right. and also what we have seen it be for other um, populations of people. For the first and the only mm -hmm. and the precedent setting and all the things that has been said in the media, I don't think it qualifies as reparations. And yes, there are right. lots of strings. Of There's only 16 people, you know, narrow criteria, which I don't object to the criteria, but, um, you know, I don't think that we should be giving money to the banks who really have harmed people in so many ways for so many years. Um, on behalf of black folks and call that reparations. If right. they had called this, um, if they would removed the, the name, rep, the word reparations from this and they said, this is a housing discrimination make good, uh, um, w would you would you have voted for it? Oh, for sure. Yes. Yes. Again, yeah. my issue. Right. So basically, she's she's actually a good politician. See, Originally, I thought I was going, I was going to go at her and like tear her down. No, I agree with her. I would have voted against it too because that's not fucking reparations. That's just a fucking housing plan. And she's right. That's not that's not reparations. That's not what we need in a black community. That's, it's this it's great that you think a housing plan is going to fucking help, but uh, that's not that's not what reparations are. That's 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 not reparations. And she's absolutely right, and I totally agree with her. I mean, it's again, it's always some slick shit. When it, when it comes to freaking black folk, you know, you know, the freaking Japanese folk, they can get cash payments. White folks, cash payments. Latino folks, cash payments. You know, black folks, get back. It's always get back. And, then, you know, it's just, it's just always so annoying with that shit. Because you always get the same racist retards who they know that they're, 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 they're as, soon as, you, as soon as you say something fucking stupid, I'm going to instantly shut down and just not talk to you, right? So if you approach it reasonably, I might actually fucking talk to you. But if you start making a bunch of outlandish, stupid ass claims and, and talking stupid shit, I'm not gonna talk to you, right? But but there's always gonna be those people. And now they're gonna say, well, hell, they they're buying them houses. They buy they have to move to one part of fucking Illinois. 
And they're only picking 16 people. Shut the fuck up. That's not reparations. That's not, not reparations. That's bullshit. Sister Fleming, I, I don't blame you, sister. I did, did the exact same thing. This is some bullshit, man. We we can never get reparations the way we're supposed to get them. Just give us the fucking money. Not not to me, but to every other black person out there. Just shut the fuck up and just get 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 the shit got them over with. It, it will be fucking pennies. Fucking pennies. Just get it over with. Stop trying to find new 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 ways to uh, fucking bullshitting. I, this is just bullshit. This is not reparations, man. And don't worry. We will get it. We'll get it one way or another, America. I'm telling you. <laughs> that George Floyd case. Oh, no, America. You might want to start just appeasing people. Seriously. Because it's this, 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 this shit. Where if, if, it, if it gets to the point where someone like me who was once trying to calm people down is now saying... I think I'm going to move away to a rural place where there's maybe five or ten people out there. That's when you should sh you should probably shut the fuck up and listen. But see, I'm not going to bother anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to bother trying to save America or try, 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 try to prevent getting them rights. No, no. Keep thinking that you're right. Cool. I won't say shit else about it. Whatever comes, just fucking comes, right? Because you, you motherfuckers just, just know everything, right? Cool. I'm going to let you know everything. People want want reparations, and that's that's the one way that you can you could probably avoid riots going forward. But you won't listen to me, so suffer the goddamn consequences then.